What are some interesting facts about Komodo dragons? After a time in which we thought that the world's largest lizard has toxic bacteria in its saliva to kill its prey, it has been established that it possesses actual venom rather than harmful bacteria, exactly like venomous snakes. Sure enough, that venom can rapidly decrease blood pressure, increase blood loss and hypothermia, and render the victim too weak to escape, let alone retaliate. Consequently, no animal, however large or dangerous or insignificantly small, is safe from the Komodo dragon's powerful venom. In addition to their powerful venom, Komodo dragons have 60 sharp, serrated teeth in their jaws, each about 2.54 cm long. These teeth are ideal for launching an attack and inflicting a nasty bite. However, the Komodo dragon's bite force is rather weak when compared to other predators, around 500 pounds per square inch, compared to a saltwater crocodile that can deliver a fatal bite of around 3,700 pounds per square inch. When hunting prey, the bite force is compensated for by the venom. As I said earlier, the Komodo dragon is the world's largest lizard, since some adult males can grow as long as 3 meters, and weigh around 70 to 91 kilograms. And yet, when on the hunt, the Komodo dragon is completely silent. Sure enough, it creeps up on its prey stealthily, without uttering a single sound. Thus, the victim has no idea it's being stalked. When close enough, at the exact moment, the Komodo attacks the targeted animal with a combination of lacerating damage and blood loss. Once death comes, the reptile will tear large chunks of flesh and swallow them whole, all thanks to loosely articulated jaws, a flexible skull and an expandable stomach. As a result, nothing is left to waste, everything is swallowed, horns, hooves, bones, skulls and all. Like snakes and most lizards, Komodo dragons have a keen sense of smell that unfolds through their long, forked tongue. That tongue gathers particles in the air and delivers vital information to the brain via two pits at the roof of the mouth, where a specialized organ called the Jacobson's organ analyzes the airborne molecules, exactly like in the world of snakes. Also, the Komodo's acute sense of smell allows it to detect available prey or decaying flesh for well over 9 kilometers away. In fact, one individual Komodo was reported to have been driven into a human house by the scent of dirty socks worn by a park ranger, mistaking it for carrion. The Komodo dragon gets its name from an old rumor saying that dragon-like creatures roam and terrorize the Indonesian island of Komodo. Right until the species discovery in 1910, locals even call it Aura, a term that means land crocodile, even though the Komodo is actually a monitor lizard that is nowhere near related to crocodiles. As opportunistic feeders, Komodo dragons can survive on a wide variety of prey throughout their range, including deer, monkeys, buffaloes, birds, pigs, goats insects, even humans, if given the chance, they may kill and eat their own kind, particularly the small hatchlings. When live prey is hard to catch, the humongous lizards resort to scavenging, during which they gorge themselves on rotten carrion, without experiencing any harm whatsoever. And this fact is what gives them the reputation as, grave robbers, because they can venture out into human cemeteries and dig out the dead in order to feast on them. Komodo dragons have an appetite to match their huge size, since they can eat up to 80% of their own body weight. Komodo dragons are usually solitary and fiercely territorial, so they never meet up with their congeners except during the mating season, though nothing prevents a whole group of Komodos, usually a dozen individuals, from gathering over a kill or a rotting carcass. When two rival males meet, they rear up on their hind legs and fight each other viciously, 
using their long claws and long tails to whip each other. However, the fight can appear to us as though the males are either sizing each other up, dancing or even hugging each other. Fights usually don't last for long and don't have a gruesome outcome. Komodo dragon hatchlings are no bigger than a human hand and their small size renders them easily vulnerable to predation, particularly from their own kind. For this reason, they usually spend their first years up the trees and remain there right until they're large and bold enough. Komodo dragons inhabit the Indonesian volcanic islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores and Gilimotang, and they're the only large predators on these islands, with no tigers or crocodiles or large snakes to compete with them. For this reason, the lizards have evolved to become the ultimate apex predators in the island's ecosystems, from forests to grasslands, unsurpassed and unstoppable. Unlike other apex predators, Komodo dragons are actually diurnal, which means that they're active only during the day, while they tend to doze off at night. Komodo dragons are fast runners that can reach speeds up to 19 to 20 km per hour. However, like other large reptiles, they can easily be outrun by other animals, including humans, mainly due to their cold-blooded status that renders them so lacking of stamina, and thus reliant on stealth. But that's still not enough to try escaping and attacking Komodo, because the victim must put his, her back into escaping while not allowing the animal to get close enough to make a dash and bite. Otherwise, that person will be envenomed, and it's death guaranteed. Even though Komodo dragon attacks on humans are rare, nevertheless numerous fatalities have been recorded, oftentimes resulting in the victims' deaths, especially children. Unfortunately, more and more attacks are being common due to heavy human encroachment. Like other apex predators, Komodo dragons are vulnerable to extinction, mainly due to habitat loss and loss of prey. Nowadays, their populations are around 6,000 individuals, and yet they're rapidly declining, which is why it's more vital than ever to provide them protection despite our fear of them. So, these are the most amazing facts about Komodo dragons that I think of. If you believe there's more, feel free to let me know in the comments. Cheers and have a lovely day.